Hey friends, today we are hanging out in London. This is my first time ever visiting here. In fact, it's the first time I've ever left the United States and I am so excited. We're gonna be going around visiting some iconic locations and also eating some amazing food and I'm just so pumped. I kinda have a plan, but I also just wanna see where the wind takes me. So we're gonna eat some food, visit some touristy spots and just have a beautiful London kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's a beautiful April day. The temperature's in the 50s and it's a little bit rainy out, but that's okay, I'm used to it. I'm from Florida. I arrived in London yesterday and it took a full day for me to actually kick the jet lag. So this is my first day actually going out and just discovering the city itself. And I'm still getting used to how they actually say things over here. Like for instance, when I got off the airplane, I immediately was looking for a restroom, but I was walking past all the signs because they said toilets. And then also same thing goes for elevators. They call those lifts. And it's really fun because normally your eyes are peeled for those exact words. and I was just walking right past them, but I'm getting used to it and it's really fun. I really do enjoy everything so far. Our first stop of the day is gonna be here at Burroughs Market, and it looks like a really fun place, and I'm excited to actually shop around a little bit. They've got Ted's Veg right there, and look at, there's the crew. I'm excited, little London day, boys day in London. <laughs> For the most part, we are just using an Uber to get to all the different places that we actually wanna go. So we're just gonna be skipping around, but I'm gonna kinda guide you in the direction of where we're going. It's definitely a very popular spot. Lots of people are all gathering around. They've got a little oyster bar here. And I just like all the lights up here as well. Look at this amazing wild mushroom risotto stand. Man, they're actually cooking it up right in front of us. Look at this. Holy moly. Look at all those mushrooms. It smells amazing here. Honestly, wow. All of the produce. I'm not even a big risotto fan, but that just looks like it's the best in the world. This is a very crowded area like I am literally elbows to elbows basically everywhere I go But I'm enjoying it a lot They also have a lot of amazing fruit selections including chocolate covered strawberries and look how they have the the uh, fondue and they just filled the cup up with chocolate these little tiny strawberries here. I Love this and all fresh juice. That's watermelon juice right there Cheers to some mulled wine there Cheers, you go. thanks guys. Hey, you going? It's delicious. That is comforting. What's the burger? I love it. Fantastic. Amazing. There is gonna be a lot that we have to do today, so we're gonna move along from the borough market. But here's a beautiful shot of it, along with the shard up there. They also have the ginger pig, uh, where they have world famous sausage rolls over there. Another thing I'm getting used to is the fact that they drive on a different side of the road over here So you always have to look to your left as you can see the cars coming through and I just love all the automobiles too. Look at this Isn't that so nifty? I'm with all of my friends from Roosevelt's, the company that actually makes the shirts that I wear, like this one right here. And it's so awesome because some of them have been here uh, to London before, and this being my first time, I honestly don't know if I'm missing anything or anything like that. So some of them are luckily enough to be pointing it out for me so I can be like, ooh, and I get excited because I would walk right past something and not even know what it is. But then the second someone says what it is, I'm like, I know what that is. Just about a two minute walk from the market is the Anchor, one of the oldest pubs in London. This was established in 1615 and the outside of it looks so cool. I'm um, gonna show you guys the inside. We have reservations, we're actually gonna eat here. And look at this doorway. I love everything about this place. Welcome to one of London's oldest pubs. Main bar is just in this way. Wow. Look at this awesome little fireplace. This is so cool. <laughs> I 
yeah, I think I'm in love with this place. This is indeed just so, so epic. Here is a cool picture of the pub in 1932. Uh, 1932. A lot has changed since then. This is the outside that we just saw you right here. How crazy is that? That's so amazing. This place is so cool on the inside, but I do, like I said, I want to show you on the outside because it's along the river and you get a beautiful view and maybe we'll grab a pint. Right here is the outside area. Wait till I show you guys the view up here. Look at this beautiful view right here and you can see they have some signs pointing you in the direction of some iconic landmarks. Buckingham Palace is 2.15 miles that way, the Tower of London, the Green King Brewery, and also look at all the amazing views from the water. The bridge, this is, this is iconic. I love it here so much. Dry hops. Cheers. Cheers, Lager. man. Cheers. And Mike. Cheers. Austin. <laughs> All the, all, the all the chairs. All the chairs. To London. Some local beer. I got a dry hoppy beer. That's good. Sitting out of here watching all the Uber boats go by. Makes me really want to go ride one, so maybe a little bit later on. They also have a London, London Eye River cruise there. That looks interesting. But I think for now, I think we're going to head into the pub and get something to eat. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get to eat. I wanna try something different and unique, like something to London or Europe or something like that. I don't wanna try something I can get, you know, over in the States or anything like that. So we'll see what they have on the menu. Here is a look at the menu at the Anchor. They've got butternut squash soup. They've got king prawns and chorizo. They've got Sunday roast. They got a 28 day aged sirloin of beef, roasted half chicken, nut roast wellington. Wow, that all looks good. And then of course you guys know the currency is different here. Uh, so uh, the prices are like $4.95 for the soup and that's different in American dollars. But I'm sure we're gonna find some good stuff. Maybe some uh, fish and chips or steak and ale pie. Steak and ale pie sounds amazing. It's an award winning steak and uh, ale pie. I might have to try that. Like I mentioned before, all of the restrooms are called toilets here, but they also have some traditional cask ales here, and I might want to try some of them. I think I had this green uh, King IPA already. That's like the local brewery, but the one I just had that was like the dry hop, that was so good. The food has arrived. We've got fish and chips. We've got prawns with chorizo. This is the steak and pie right here. More fish and chips. What's this? A toasty? Or maybe two toasties. Two oh, because you're gonna toast. Oh, two toasties. And then how's the soup? Good soup. Oh, oh. Quite nice. A good soup. <laughs> I have to try the fish, so I'm gonna steal a little piece right here. Scoop me up a little fish and chips. <laughs> I definitely want to try the fish and chips, so my friend's letting me try some of his, and I'm excited because look at it, it looks amazing. It's one gigantic piece. So here we go. Wow, you went kidding. That fish and chips is phenomenal. I should just say the fish, but it's so hard to separate fish and chips. Like you just call it that, you know what I mean? The fish is amazing, but now I'm gonna dive in to my little steak pie here, and it looks good. Look at it all in here, and then we got the potatoes, and then the cabbage there, and I'm excited. I honestly don't want to cut into this because it's so perfect, but we have to do it, so here we go. Oh no! It's like extra <laughs> deep. No, that's way too oh, much. Oh, there we go. No, I'm not gonna use it. Here we go. Wow. He's allergic to No, I'm allergic This is so phenomenal. And it's baked in a buttery, 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 baked in a buttery, flaky, buttery, buttery, flaky crust. <laughs> All of the food is so good, and it all like the mashed potatoes. They taste different. They have a different texture than like regular mash you would get in the states. I don't know why, or maybe it's just the way that they prepare them here. And they even came out like not looking like potatoes, like they were almost molded. But they're very good. 
this place is really fun. But one thing I noticed, everywhere I have went so far, like kind of in London, there's always steps and it's always small ceilings. Like if you wanna come down here, you have to mine the step and like come down and you notice that it gets a little bit uh, tighter. And this is actually the old bar here where we're sitting up there. I think that's just an addition, but this is the, this is the uh, real bar that was here since uh, 1620, I think. The anchor was so awesome. I loved being in there, enjoying a pint, and also my food was fantastic. And I sampled some of the other food. That was all good. Now we're gonna head out and explore and walk around. I think we're gonna just walk around. We're gonna walk along the water, then maybe over the bridge, and uh, go check out Big Ben and Parliament and all the cool spots. <laughs> Here is a beautiful view of the city itself. And then look over here, this is Shakespeare's Theater. And this is so cool, they actually have guided tours for that. And I love this little corner spot right here. I don't know what this is, but I'm sure it's something significant because it's blocked off, you can't go there. But it just looks so awesome. I love everything, I love all the buildings here. Look at this incredible view. You've got the city of London right there. You got St. Paul's Cathedral and then actual like London and where like Parliament and stuff uh, like a uh, Big Ben and stuff like that I think is actually over there. I'm pretty sure. We'll find our way but we're actually gonna make our way across that bridge eventually. We're going across the water. As we were walking along the water, they have a little beach here called Ernie's Beach. And I didn't think you were allowed to go down here, but apparently you are allowed. Look at this. This is actually really, really cool. I'm just going to put my toes in real quick. <laughs> I'm going to go swimming. I feel like if I walk out close, I'm going to slip and fall. I'm pretty positive that's going to happen, but I'm not going to do it. We'll go right about here. Look at this view. It's a low tide. <laughs> we are almost to the London Eye and I can see a little bit of Big Ben and I'm so excited, like this is it. This is like, these are the things that I've been excited to actually see and I'm sure I'm gonna get there and just like look at it and be like, oh, that's nice, but I want to. I want to look at it and be like, oh, this is nice. And then there's gonna be other things to do around there. I wouldn't mind stopping in at another pub or something to eat a little bit later on. I'm just here, like I want to do the touristy things, you know? We have made it to the London Eye. Look at that. This used to be the world's largest uh, Ferris wheel, but I think somebody beat them. And this looks huge though. I would do it, but it's like a 30 minute. I almost just got attacked by a pigeon. But it takes like 35 minutes to go all the way around. And there's a lot of other things I wanna see in that 30 minutes. So I think we're gonna keep moving along and make our way over to Parliament and Big Ben. Look, it's loud. <laughs> And there it is. Wow, look at that. This is incredible. I don't know why I'm so excited, but like I said, I was gonna get here and just look at it, and that's what is happening, and I'm, I'm kind of just in awe. It's really awesome just to be able to see it in person. Another thing that is just running through my head is V from Vendetta. It's one of my favorite movies and there's a classic scene with this actually behind me that uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And it's just, you know what I mean? It's just so cool to be here in person. Look at how cool this is. Wow. I love seeing all the double-decker buses. This is incredible. Now we're gonna make our way actually over on the other side and uh, get up close with Parliament and the Big Ben there. I like this, now we're up on the bridge. It's definitely a very busy area on this bridge, but I'm noticing that the pictures are a little bit better when you're on the bridge, not on the other side of the water. So I stopped and took a couple of photos and I lost my group. I love everything, even the lamp posts. look at that. This is, it's just so beautiful, it's incredible. 
I'm sure whatever you see in this video is probably going to be trimmed down, but I'm just walking around just videotaping everything actually at the moment. So it's really funny because I'm like, ooh, ooh. We're now waiting in line to get a photo with this phone booth because it's got this amazing Big Ben like in the background there. And a lot of people are here for it. Look at this. It's a popular stop. Steve knows the way. He's the one that's, he's literally guiding this expedition today. He knows all the spots. Oh, very good. Sign me up. I would go again. I'm going to leave you a five star review on Yelp. <laughs> it looks like the rain is coming down pretty hard. We need to find a pub and seek some shelter. <laughs> I also want to get on one of those buses too. I want to sit on the top. We have to wait across the street here. But the rain has turned into hail here, so we're kind of stationary. We've got newspaper to keep ourselves dry. <laughs> it's really, really coming down though. Look at it. I think we're heading to the Red Lion. Holy moly. Look at that view. Oh, <laughs> no time to look. <laughs> we made our way over to the Red Lion. This is one of Steve's picks right here. He really does know a lot. Definitely looks crowded in there. <laughs> We might pass on the red line. We couldn't even get in the door there. And we made our way down to the Westminster Arms. And this place looks promising, not a lot of people. Here it is, the Westminster Arms. Queen Anne's English Dining Room upstairs. Oh, it looks kind of crowded in here too. Pass it back, pass it back. Give this to Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin's not here. Kevin's not here. All right, it looks like the rain has stopped and we are clear to proceed. But look at these amazing alleyways right here. I love it. The sun is just starting to come out, but just take a look at this. We were gonna try to make our way down to Buckingham Palace, but I might save that for another day because we're losing daylight. Now I think we're gonna uh, head on down to Cahoots. I think that's the name of the spot. But look how beautiful it is out right now. The sun's gonna start setting soon, but look at this. I'm telling you, I love it here so much. I don't know why, because it reminds me of New York City, but not as crowded. And people are just, I think, generally nicer. We are definitely gonna have to do a part two, like a London day part two. I know we're gonna be here for Star Wars celebration and we're gonna be getting some of that content, but I wanna come down and just explore a little bit more. So like I said, if any of you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try to get to all the good spots. You know what I mean? There's a lot to cover, you know? As you guys know, the coronation is actually coming up and here is the horse guard parade, I think they call it. Look, you got a little rainbow over there too. This is so, like, crazy that I'm here right now. Look, there's even some horse poo right there. This is insane. I wonder how much those seats cost. Look at the seats up there. This is spectacular. Beautiful park over here. Ahead of us is Piccadilly Square. Piccadilly Circus. It's kind of it's like Times Square, but uh, here in London. I love this underground sign. I love all those underground oh, dude, signs. It's so cool. I get it. Yeah. Makes me want to be underground. Yeah. Look at this here. This really is like a little mini New York City, like a Times Square area. This is the first like phone booth I think I've come across where nobody was actually waiting to go inside. And I just wanted to see what it was like on the inside. It definitely smells funny. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if these phones actually work anymore, but 
kind of cool to see it. And there's tons of them all around, but a lot of people like to just take photos with them. I hope they never get rid of them. Oh, this one's got a window smashed out too. <laughs> the place that we're going to is called Cahoots, and it's kind of like a speakeasy in an underground like tunnel, or like an underground like rail car station. And a lot of people said it's like one of the best places to visit in Soho, so I'm very excited for that. This is the way to Cahoots, and it's like through Kingly Court, I think. You always have to be careful which way you're actually walking. We're in Soho. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I see it all the way down there. Oh, we found it. You are uh, in cahoot with them? I'm in cahoots. You're in cahoots with them? Cahoots? <laughs> Our name is on the list for Cahoots, and they actually directed us next there, next like next door to uh, Single Station. And I'm not too sure what that is, but we're gonna go there and wait until we can get in the Cahoots. Cahoots is right there, and Single Station they said is in here, but we have to go downstairs, and uh, I'm gonna see what it's like. I hope I'm not gonna get robbed. <laughs> Look at this. This doesn't seem. Hey, how are ya? Oh, wow. This is kind of incredible. Hi. Oh, there it is. Wow, this is really cool. Look at that. A Winston Churchill tiki mug. I love it. DTH, every time we go out, he's always got to get a tiki mug. I love this place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scoundrels and swing. Oh. One, two, three, right here. Cheers. This place is actually really cool, but we are still gonna go to the actual cahoots inside the subway itself. This is just the station, and I kind of like it over here already. The music's good, the drinks is good. <laughs> we got dancers, entertainment. <laughs> I love that they serve water in thermoses like this, and it's just so cool. Everything in here is just so well detailed. I really want to see what the actual cahoots is like. They probably have live entertainment here on some nights. That's why they got the little stage there. Now we're actually going to make our way into cahoots. Oh, wow. This is cool. Meeting my American brother. Welcome to Cahoots, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. Holy moly. These are all our lovely managers. These are all our lovely managers. Ah, very well. Thank you. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> wow, this is amazing in here. Wow. And this is an actual train car. I'm going to whip you through here very quickly. All right. Cahoots was actually really cool looking. Honestly though, I kind of, I like the single station a little bit better. I mean, inside of there it was really nice. We're not staying for a drink. We actually have uh, dinner reservations at Kahoom. Not Kahoom. The Shoom. <laughs> the Shoom. The Shoom. 
The shoom. They all got two O's. Yeah. Cahoots, the shoom. The shoom. So we're actually gonna head there now, but uh, it was cool that I got to show you a little bit. Hey, what's up? Hey. hey. Uh, we're gonna go to the shoe shortage. Oh, all right. There we go. We probably have enough. Oh, all right. Look at this. I forgot what they Yeah. They repurposed like a vacuum part or something like that for lightsabers. It was very cool. And I think they did something like Obi Wan lightsabers, four different things. Yeah. Got tube, a tampon, and some other yeah, bag. Yeah, it's like very that. creative. Yeah. I feel like I may have seen that video. But yeah, the way this thing is... I don't want any trouble. Yeah, but the thing is, is they're so weak and pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, good. <laughs> we premiere. Oh, there's Chinatown. When we have premieres for the big films in London. Yep. That's we have made it to the restaurant now. It was a fun little uh, Uber ride all through uh, London there. I was trying to show a little bit as we drove by. I definitely want to come down and walk around the circus a little bit more. It looked so busy. It, uh, like down the street, like we walked past it, but if I went continuing down the street, I would have been like, holy, like we're in Times Square. And now I'm excited for this restaurant. I think they said it was an Indian like food restaurant. Um, and I, I, I really haven't had much Indian food in the past but everyone says this is one of the best restaurants to go to in London so here we are I don't know much about Indian food so I'm literally gonna be relying on my friends to actually help me out here and it, they said it's like family style so you have to order like two to two or three things like per person and I'm excited I might actually try some Marsal which is a very popular item here in London I don't know what to get I might get the the prawns Marsal prawns here and of course the cheeky the the the, the chicken I, I tried to say chicken and tiki at the same time I said the cheeky the cheeky <laughs> but I'm excited it looks like uh Things are, I mean, they're fairly priced, so it's not so bad. But from what I hear, this is like an excellent, excellent uh, restaurant. So I'm very excited. It might be a little bit loud in there, so I'm going to try to show you guys as much as I can. But I'll make sure to let you know what I think of the food once I get done and let you know what I actually eat. The restaurant itself is so beautifully decorated. Look at this. And I keep on wanting to say dish room because, you know, working in restaurants my life, I always used to seeing dish room signs. Here is some lamb samosa. I probably won't be eating any of that. Okra. Okra fries I'm kind of interested in. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, some shrimps maybe too. That looks actually really good. Some okra fries. The food has arrived. I think this is the the prawns, Marcel, or yeah. And then the chicken. We got the rice. Look at the whole table. It looks amazing. And also, look at these lamb chops. I have definitely eaten some spicy food right now, but I have to say I love all of this food. It is so good. I mean, honestly, the shrimp and the chicken, phenomenal. This naan bread inside the the uh, chicken uh, marsal sauce, or what do they call this? Chicken tikka, chicken tikka masala. Chicken tiki masala, masala is so good. I love this now. That was some of the best food I have ever eaten. I'm sorry I couldn't film much in there because it is very loud and the atmosphere is just very energetic, but uh, I loved it. I loved the chicken, I loved the prawn, I loved the masal. It was so amazing. The naan bread with the garlic, like everything was exceptional. Probably one of the best meals I've ever had. So I'm so happy that we got to go there. And uh, now it's getting a little late, so think we're gonna make it back to the hotel and uh, take it from there there's a lot of stuff where we're actually staying so we might call it a night or we might just continue on hanging out 
all depends on how we feel once we get back there. But it is, it has been a long day and we have gotten a lot accomplished in just our first outing. And with that, I think we are done here for the night. It's been an epic first day. I had so much fun hanging out, going around, exploring London, and there's a lot more to come. Like, I feel like we got a lot accomplished today. And I've already started to see a lot of people sending me messages of like some cool things to do. So I'm definitely gonna be looking through some of them. I'm very excited. I'm excited for Star Wars Celebration. I'm gonna be there, so if you guys are there, come say hi. I know Saturday from 12 to 2 but uh, yeah I'm just thrilled to be in Europe I'm thrilled to be here and uh, I can't wait to make more videos and share my experiences with you so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye